It's a scene that's repeated year after year on the state fairgrounds. With just days to go, excitement builds as preparations wind down. Everything's coming together. The construction projects are buttoned up. The vendors are moving in. We're getting everybody hooked up. But a closer look at some favorite attractions and you'll notice something different. A new company has taken over the Midway for the first time in decades. Wade Shows is bringing more than 60 rides to the fair, including two of the three tallest traveling coasters and the largest traveling slide in the U.S. We're real excited about our lineup. All of our concessions are color-coded. The midways are wider. We've got rides that have never been here before. Officials say a goal of the fair, as always, is to get people better acquainted with the state's agriculture. The Dairy Cow Birthing Center is one exhibit that does just that and has some changes coming for its second year. It was extremely popular. In fact, we quickly outgrew our space last year, and so we've uh, increased the tent size uh, 40 percent. We've doubled the seating capacity in here to 700 people we can accommodate sitting down. Another old favorite, Safety Town, got a makeover with updated interactive displays to teach families about fire safety. If you're in the mood for something completely new, there's the Great Shipwrecks exhibit. And we really tried to pick different ones to really raise awareness with folks about the different maritime history of New York, whether it be a schooner, a bateau, whatever the type of ship may be that we might have in New York's waters. And while a lot may be new, there's still plenty of traditional fair fun crowds have come to expect. At the State Fairgrounds, Sarah Blazonis, Time Warner Cable News.